Hey everybody. I just want to talk about today video to talk about three things that you can do to shift your health absolutely enormously. But I'm going to include a bonus fourth thing, okay? And I'll talk I'll start now because Okay, number 1. Number one, this is what I heard from a channel called Abraham, who I really resonate with very, very, very highly. Kind of the most really in life. And I also love Bashar and Conversations with God. And I hear Seth is also excellent. Okay, so I was going to say this first thing. And it's not in any order. The first thing is to drink an enormous, or at least in a big abundance of water. Fresh water, preferably filtered tap, like preferably not tap water that's not filtered. If you have tap water, try filter it or energize it with crystals in it, like I have in my house. Um, I'll just quickly show you what I have going on in here. You know, here's some nice food over there. But in the bottom of this coffee thing, I have crystals, crystals, some uh, quartz crystal, pink quartz, and one to it, maybe clear quartz. And then this this organized thing, you can buy it on my website. Um, I don't actually sell it myself, but I have have an affiliate link. Um, I don't know, it's not even a link. You click on the pictures, just ownfox.org. And then here's another thing I bought that helps energize and make the water living, like highly vibrational, energetic, healthy water. So drink an abundance of water. The reason why water is so important is because it helps flush toxins out of the system and hydrate the cells. We are basically like 80%, we're like something like 70 to 80, 85, something like that percent water. And our brain is higher in water. And the thing is, when you're a child, you're, you've got the highest amount of water in you. And as you grow old, you keep shrink, you keep shrinking, like having less water. So before you die, you become like, a, you're more wrinkled and dried up and more like rigid and inflexible. Whereas babies are super flexible and hydrated. So the, the level of water in your system is largely got to, connected with your hydration and your, your your youthfulness, your your vigor, vitality, your wellness. So today's life, as we know, there can be a lot of like pollutants around the place: air, water, food, environment, in our house, our rugs, artificial stuff, paint, and all that stuff. It's nothing to worry about, but drinking water really helps us enormously to flush this stuff out of your system. And like one of the biggest problems really in the world regarding health is having like kind of like fecal matter, fecal matter in your colon. That's like <laughs> sounds so bad. Don't worry about it, guys. Just take it easy and relax and let go and enjoy life more. So yeah, there's like there's poop, poop remains and like you know there's like sludge and like there's a lot of our food can be mucus causing because it's not really fully optimal for the human body. You know the human organism like like an animal. So we've sort of deviated from a more natural food with a lot of processed foods and like just stuff, you know, we make up. <laughs> so if our body is a system of tubes and if you can imagine like your sink clogged up and dirty and be smelly and that's how people get sick. There are just like too many toxins and waste in their body. So imagine there's like a sewage tank somewhere over there, like somewhere over there or whatever. You don't want a sewage tank in your body and reabsorbing all the, the toxins. So that's why drinking like lots of water every day can really help flush all your tube, your pipe system, really clean and clear and beautiful. So just highly recommend drinking lots of water guys, lots. Experiment, most of us are drinking Lot, way less than we should for decades. So start drinking an extra one to three glasses of water a day at least and see how you feel. And if you feel like it, have some more. You, it's <laughs> so you'll feel so much better when you're hydrated, you really will. Like, you, going around dehydrated all the time is like going around with insufficient sleep all of your life and you don't, then you don't even realize you're not getting enough sleep. So, okay, so tip number two. Tip number two is to move your body. Um, move your body, exercise, body movement, stretching, flexing, stretching, like, you know, flexing, posing, tightening your muscles, doing exercise you enjoy, getting out for a walk. A nice, nice walk is one of the best exercises you can do. Swimming in the sea, anything that you like. 
yoga, rebounding, doing stuff in your house. I do like handstands against the wall, you know, where I go upside down, my, my, my legs are up against the wall. I also do like press ups, I do pull ups on the branch, I do I do like um, abdominal crunches when I'm holding on, on, on the branch. I lie flat on the ground outside the front of my house and then I lift my legs up a little bit. And when you do that, it's like a massively strong like ab workout. Today I have like sore abs. <laughs> but um, when you move your body, just we, we are a system of tubes, like thousands and millions of tubes and millions of miles of tubes, capillaries, veins, venules, arteries, arterioles. We have all of these different names to, to talk about the size of the tube. So we're like a big tube system. Like lymph and blood are the two main things that are in the tubes. So blood brings nutrients to the cells and lymph takes waste away from the cells. So it's as simple as that. So when you move, the, 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 the lymph doesn't have the lymph system is the biggest system in the body because it's it's absolutely enormous it's bigger than the blood system and the the vessels are smaller but it's around every single cell and two thirds of the liquid around the cell is lymph and one third of the liquid is blood that's why when you get a spot you it's a bit yellowy because that's the lymph system it's like two thirds yellow yellowy lymph and one third blood so um, lymph is your sewage system it's about getting rid of waste and dealing with like cellular acids and just general stuff in our body to get rid of it and exit out the kidneys so I take ki kidney herbs and one of the things you can see that down below in my herbs for specific conditions um, link below the video some really good quality really affordable very affordable uh, stuff for your kidneys you capsules or else a tincture um, Lemons are fantastic for moving your lymph, but the thing that's best for your lymph really is moving your body because the lymph doesn't have a heart, it doesn't have a thing beating or like pumping. The lymph system requires this movement of your body, like, you know, flexing, stretching, bouncing, moving, walking, all that stuff pumps the lymph system, so it's really, really important. So, the reason why circulation and movement is so good is circulates the lymph flow and it also circulates helps the blood flow to every all of your cells too so you're bringing nutrients and you're flushing away toxins and waste so uh, so okay so what else um doo -doo -doo, that's that's two things i mentioned there water <laughs> let's go outside and i'll show you where i do my ab workout Okay, so that's where I do some of my workouts, and I'll go against the wall here, the branch is over there. I'll show you the branch. So, like, my health personally has, like, skyrocketed in the last seven months since I started taking a lot of herbs. If you want to see my herbs, you can see below Higher Self Herbs. Watching that name, good name, isn't it? Higher Self Herbs. <laughs> I was so happy when I saw that that was, that that was available. And there's lovely children around the place. This, the country is amazing, guys. The people down the country are so tranquil and beautiful, friendly and peaceful and kind. So, um, to be honest, I've sort of forgotten this third thing. What's the third thing? It's like, number one is water. In no order. Number two is move your body. And, um, yeah, number three, sleep and rest when you're tired. You don't necessarily have to sleep all night long, like this is what Abraham said, and they recommended maybe four hours sleep at a time. If, like, if you can sort of do with that, like they recommend like even like having a cat nap, like think of... Hey, I'm just waving to her, she's so friendly. <laughs> so, um, just the idea, I, I heard of a man lived to like the age of 256 and his recommendation for living old was like sleep like a dog and walk like a turtle and I can't remember the other thing but the idea of, of walk like a turtle means to don't overextend or overtax yourself don't stress yourself take things easy um, and the idea of sleep like a dog is to regularly rest when you're tired and sleep when you're tired so this corresponds to what Abraham is saying and one of the reasons Abraham says the benefits of sleeping like for an hour here and a half an hour, three or four hours, five hours here 
is because the importance of movement and movement is like so important as I've already described in this video like it's so important I remember let me tell you about my life when I was the age of 1 to 20 I used to move I was like I used to move a lot I used to move seven days a week I used to, ooh, look at that hey hey look at that that's pretty I used to like exercise like a maniac I used to like be always doing everything rollerblading skateboarding and um, playing football playing tennis sometimes swimming cycling I was in a running club I'd be doing loads of weights at home like hard weights you know like pretty hard for my size flip sake I was, I was so strong and everything it was crazy I could do one-legged squats standing on a wall like where I'd even my bum would even go lower than the ground because I was on the wall <laughs> I could do one-legged press-ups, either arm, easy. I could do pull-ups, loads of them. But I had so much energy. But then, like my life-changing experience happened. One of the big ones, in, one of the bigger ones in my life, and I became sick for like nine years, like exhausted and crippled. <laughs> so I didn't move during this time because I couldn't. Like obviously, I moved a little bit, but cheaper. No exercise. I couldn't do anything. Could, har could hardly go shopping. Had to limit my bags. Couldn't cl walk up a little hill, like <laughs> like a hill as in like a mountain, but it's not really a mountain because it's kind of small, like 300 meters or something. Um, but now I'm like moving a lot again, and it's very good because another thing about um, exercising is it oxygenates your system. So that's when you're actually getting cardiovascular or like heart and lung um, exercise. And when you do weights, that definitely pumps your lungs and it makes you breathe more or if you go on a longer cycle or, you know, a fast, or w fast walk for a while. It's fantastic. It really, really, really freshens up your mind. Like, circulating and getting oxygen is so good for your mind and your mood and inspiration, like, for your spirituality, basically, your spiritual liveliness, your light. So... <laughs> The reason why Abraham mentions these as the three most, three her three recommendations, or not her, it's a group of eight non-physical beings, or maybe, yeah, I think it's eight or t ten non-physical beings. The reason they mention these three things over food is because everyone can do these, and nobody has resistance to these, usually. Whereas when it comes to food, if you start trying to say to people, like, do this, do that, like, people have so much of conditioned habits, you know, and they can be addicted sometimes to, you know, uh, food that's um can be a bit addictive to be honest but i, I don't want to really focus on that word because it can sound a bit sort of serious or heavy or negative let's just say we have a bit of habits going on and um it's okay you know but when it comes to the food this is my, my fourth thing the bonus one that i wanted to mention but really guys don't bring attention to those three things again remember do that Get, get, get the body movement, it's so important. Even if you're not exercising, at least you can stretch or do some simple things in your house. But I love body weights and, and my own like body weights. I love it. Get lots and lots of water and liquid and hydration, lots of it. It's good for you, man. It's hard to get too much. Like, who's been over, who's suffered from overhydration? Hardly anybody. You, if you just do these two things, you're gonna feel better in life. Let's say, the sleep and rest thing, how many of us, have you ever had a siesta or a fallen asleep on the sofa? Even if it's just for like one hour to two hours, one and a half hours during the day sometime, you feel great when you wake up. It might take you like 10, 15, 20 minutes or something or more to wake up, but when you do, <laughs> you just feel on top of the world. So this is what Abraham is talking about. They're so wise. I love Abraham. <laughs> love Abraham to infinity. I love this tree. <laughs> so this tree is gorgeous too, you know. Mm -hmm. But if I, I, let me just say in the fourth thing when we cards, let me add in a few other things. It's all natural. Uh, the air has sort of been taken care of a little bit with the exercise. So the breathing and air is really, really good for your body. Sunlight, sunbathing, deeply important. Touching the ground with your bare feet or swimming in the ocean, getting connected with the Earth's electromagnetic field, which is full of antioxidants, giving to you every single second and just harmonizing your energy field, your aura, and any electromagnetic pollution that you may be carrying in your body. So touch the earth is great. I sunbed naked in the backyard and touching the earth loads and I walk barefoot around the place sometimes. It's fantastic. 
highly recommend all of those things. The sun is very cleansing and it gives you loads of solar positive uh, healthy radiation. It also gives you a massive amount of vitamin D, or not a massive amount, but uh, what you need, enough. And it's extremely positive to protect your body against stuff like diabetes, heart attacks, um, cancer especially. Lots of uh, problems, so it helps make you healthy, healthy and strong. And when it comes to food, I just recommend, let me tell you what like somebody says, like the 101 year old marathon runner said his secret to staying fit and healthy and strong to an old age was he eats like a child, he eats small amounts. and because the number one thing that takes energy of your body is digestion so when you eat small amounts and you don't overtax and overburden your body you've got so much more vital energy the, the intelligence the intelligence of the universe in your cells that makes your heart grow when you're in the in the in the uterus when you're growing as 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 the embryo the intelligence does everything you don't have to do anything it just you grow perfectly you grow up every day you heal and your digestion works your heart beats and you're not even thinking or doing it, it does itself the intellig same intelligence is always trying to heal, so if you have any issues, Arnold Eric, for example, who's a fantastic pioneer of healing, fasting and, and diet, recommends um, eating less if you're sick to free up the energy so you can heal. And when you combine it with the other three things I'm mentioning, you know, it's just unbelievably powerful. This is what I've been doing. I eat way less these days, a fair bit less to be honest, or even way less. But I've just so much more energy and I just feel better and I've got more strength and energy to exercise. I'm less fatigued because eating too much is just tiring to be honest. It's just fantastic. Let's walk a little bit because like I was talking about walking, you know. <laughs> My legs are still a bit skinny but they're getting strong and I'm getting stronger, you know. So it takes time to rehabilitate, to re-strengthen. And when you touch a tree or something like this, you actually, uh, you're grounding yourself too. You're getting grounded. So guys, the video is like 17 minutes long now. It'll take me ages to upload this, like a day and a half to two days, because I'm living down the country and the internet isn't like, you know, very strong down here. But I hope, it's been a long video for such three simple things and then a few other things, but... Yeah. These will help you a lot, so focus on them. And with the diet, you know, you probably know yourself. Juicing and fruits. Eating fruits, that's my number one thing. Maybe some herbs, yeah, herbs, superfoods, fruits they're so powerful and changed my life and herbs are for specific conditions you can see my link below and I have a, I've spent a lot of time putting together a lot of like a list for you there if you have any questions on specific herbs or or anything got to do with my websites or or me or coaching or or, or this topic send us a question and I'll be pretty happy to answer to be honest so I'll let you go now and um, sending you love, sending you good health, sending you good vibes and I hope you have a happy day ahead and I hope this video has been a positive influence in your life, maybe inspirational or else simply educational and inf informational. So a little rhyme and and uh, I'll see you again in another video. Okay, take care and lots of love. Okay, bye. Bye and blessings.